Hey friends, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use MakeMKV to back up all of your Blu-rays that you've got in your collection and um, show you can later digitalize it so you can use it in Plex or use it on your phone or whatever you want to use with it. So to do this we're going to be using a program called MakeMKV. So let's go ahead and download it. So we're going to transition to the computer now. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to do is search for MakeMKV on Google. And we're going to go to the first link. It should be makemkv.com. Now all these links are going to be in the description down below if you want to click those as well. So if you're going to be downloading this for Windows, you can go ahead and click right here and it'll download it. However, if you want to download it for Mac, go ahead and click on makemkv 1.10.6 for Mac OS X or whatever the latest version is whenever you're going to be downloading this. Now, the instructions that I'm going to be giving you is basically going to be the same thing for both Windows or Mac OS X. So we're going to go ahead and download the Windows version because we're currently on Windows. Then we're going to run it. Then go ahead and pick whatever installer language you need. I need English, so I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit next and keep hitting next and accepting terms until it installs. Alright, and then I'm going to go ahead and run make MKV. Now, this isn't a registered version, there isn't a product code inside of it. So if you want to run with the beta code and not run into issues, you, first thing you want to do is click on help and then click on register and then this will give you a spot to put in your registration code. Now if you need the registration code what you want to do is go back to google.com and then search for make mkv beta code and then you're going to click on the first link. This will take you to a forum that has the month of code or however long the activation key is going to work. Now the activation key is free while it's in beta. As soon as he finishes the beta and makes it a legit program, then you can actually have to buy it. It's 50 bucks. I personally have bought it because I really like this program and I want to keep using it. I don't want to have to keep searching for the beta code every time I want to use uh, Make MKV. So, anyways, continue on. Copy the beta key. Go back to help and then register and then punch in the code right here and then hit OK and then it's registered. It's probably going to want you to restart it um, once the first time that you register it so then you're just going to go ahead and close it and then relaunch it and then you'll be good to go. Now my PC doesn't have a Blu-ray drive into it so we're going to transition over to the Mac right now and then we'll, I'll show you what you need to do after that. Here we have Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Don't push. Ah! ah just kidding. <laughs> Anyway, so we're going to pull out the Blu-ray disc, and then, here it is. Wah. Put that inside the computer. And then while it's loading, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. I'm going to hit Make MKV. It's going to take it a couple seconds for it to read it. Alright, once you get to the screen, you want to click on the drive, and you'll know which drive it is because it'll say the name of the video that you're looking at, so Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. This is going to take a minute or so to read. Alright. So this gives us a few different options of what we can back up. So what we want to choose is the one with the biggest uh, value, so 34.6 gigs. That's going to be our movie right there in 20 chapters. So if you just right click on somewhere on here, you can unselect all of them and then select the one you want. These other options are going to be like the bonus features and music videos and stuff that are on the Blu-ray. So if you want to back those up, you can, but I'm only interested in the movie. So I'm going to go ahead and back this up to my desktop. Hit open. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit Make MKV. And this is probably going to take about 20 or 30 minutes to copy all the files into one file onto my desktop. Alright, 23 minutes later, that's done. 
So you're gonna get a little message that says copy complete, one title saved. If it fails, you'll see like zero or zero titles copied and it failed. It, it doesn't look very clear when it's failed, but if you read it, it makes perfect sense. So hit okay. It kicks you back to this message or to this screen. And then you can just hit the eject button. It'll kick your disc back out. And then right here on your desktop is the file that you'll get. Give it a new window. So this is what the file will look like. It'll be the name of the movie with a bunch of underscores. And then it'll have T00. This is going to be the title of the file that you selected. So the first one's going to be 00 and then however many you backed up is going to be, you know, 01, 02. Now this is going to be basically a normal MKV. You can play it with VLC or pretty much anything that'll play an MKV. And this is going to be a true uncompressed uh, backup copy of what was on your Blu-ray. So it's going to have everything there. It's going to have perfect detail, just, just like you were watching it off the Blu-ray. So if you want to know what to do after this, so you have a much more uh, manageable file that's a lot smaller and so you can use it on anything like Plex or your iPad, iPhone, Zune, whatever. Um, look for my other video that's coming out that I'm going to show you how to use Handbrake to compress this down and create a much more manageable file. Thank you so much for watching this video guys. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a like below and I'll see you in the next one.